Hi, my name is Martin and I'm from Woo Woo Waterless Toilets and today we're going to do a quick unboxing video for the new separate Tiny compost toilet. The Tiny is being launched on April the 1st, 2021 and will be available to order from our website immediately um, which is www.waterlesstoilets.co.uk This particular model of the Tiny is the one with the built-in urine container um, but we'll also show you a bit later the one that's got the urine diversion option as well. So let's get on with the unboxing, let's see what's actually inside. Okay, so packaging is obviously for safety in, uh, in transit. We've got some packaging at the top, protection packaging. And the first thing we come across here is a template for uh, cutting the hole. So if you have the model with the urine outlet, uh, this would be placed against the wall and that's the, one of the ventilation options or this version will be against the floor, showing you ventilation and urine outlet. So uh, this shows you exactly where you need to cut any holes that might be required. Right, so let's get it out of here. Okay, so just briefly sort of looking at the toilets, uh, you can see sort of how much smaller it is than uh, the separate villa. So it's, it's much less deep. Let's give you an indication. The dimensions will be on the website, but just as a point of interest, it's about 50 centimetres deep. Um, height to the top of the seats, it's talking about 47 centimetres, and width weighs, um, you're looking at just under 40 centimetres width. So it's a, quite a compact toilet, and we'll go into quite a small space. Let's just have a look at the back. Um, here we've got some of the, obviously some of the wiring going around to go to the fan, and also on this one, you've got um, uh, system that alerts you to the level of urine in the container um, and then the fan outlet is down here uh, we'll talk more about that in a second okay so in the top here we have a card that says welcome to the separate family thank you very much okay so uh, nice seat um, there's no separate um, sorry nice lid there's no separate seat it's all sort of moulded into one here. Let's just go inside further. Okay, and here we are. So we've got the urine separator. We've got um, the concealing screen and the various parts inside. Okay, so that's all the bits out of the uh, toilet. Let's have a closer look at what we've actually got here now. So here's the solids container, um, it's got a piece on the top that you can take off and put on which will secure the, the compostable bag into place and for when you are actually moving it around you've also got um, a lid as well. This is the urine container, um, this is the emptying spout and it's got a handy place to put that when it's not being used, back on there. And We'll look at that in a more detail in a moment. We've got a piece of vent pipe, so the separate tiny uses 50 millimeter vent pipe. We've got a uh, samples package, so in here we've got a roll of 10 compostable bags. We've got one of the uh, absorb pads, which you place in the bottom to absorb any excess liquid. And we've also got one of the um, biodrain tablets, which goes into the front of the separator. This package contains the user manual and the installation manual. Should we have a look at those? Okay, so we have a user manual here, which uh, has goes into several languages. So the UK section is just towards the front there. So that's the user manual. And we have an installation manual, which goes through all the parts that come with the Tiny, the installation steps, how you can install it without any visible pipes, how you install it with visible pipes, the uh, cowl as well, how that goes on, power supply for the toilet, fitting the vent, uh, the, the fan filter. Okay, so that's all of that. So let's have a look at the bag of parts and see what we have in here. Okay, so we've got a cap for the urine container, so um, this isn't 
placed on here and use this is just for carrying it, but uh, obviously it can be placed there, out of the way, but handy um, when we need it. So that's uh, that's good. Uh, this I think is the power supply. Yeah. Okay. So this is the power adapter. So it comes with uh, various types of plugs. So there's the UK plug. Let's just take this out. Okay. So we can pop that on there like that. Okay. So there's our power adapter, and that can go into the other end of the toilet. Okay, so this is the filter that will go into the uh, cover up here. We'll look at that in a moment. Um, oh, right, okay. So this is the, uh, the, the bio drain holder. So this will pop into the urine um, separator at the front and hold the bio drain tablet. We'll have a look at that later. We've got some uh, gaskets here. We've got a connector piece which would enable you to connect uh, straight pipes together. We've got the actual uh, vent cover, so uh, that would sort of go on the top of the vent and um, uh, allow the, uh, things to go outside. The to go outside. We've got a nice to be bend for the uh, vent pipe. So this would fit up, we'll have a look at this in a moment, this would fit on the bottom of the toilet and then it would take the vent pipe out 90 degrees so that could either go uh, straight down, 90 degrees to the right and 90 degrees to the left. Um, another sort of vent pipe, so if the vent pipe is coming out straight from the side, uh, this fits on the end, it's got a fly screen on it and also a rain cover as well, so that's quite a nice fitting. We've got cables to run off a 12 volt battery um, or connect straight into your solar system. We've got some silicon which you'd use to connect the pipes together. And we've got some screws to enable you to fix the toilet to the floor. So those are all the bits that you actually get in the toilet. So let's have a look at the toilet itself in a bit more detail. Okay, so let's have a look now at how we actually fit the um, uh, biodegradable uh, compostable bags and the other accessories. So this is your sort of accessory or sample pack. And so let's just have a look at what we actually get inside. Okay, so we've got a roll of uh, 10 bags. So these are 14 and a half litre bags. Uh, we've got a sample of the biodrain tablet. And we've got a sample of the absorb mat. So let's have a go at fitting those. Well, let's get, the, get one of the bags out first of all. So here's the bag. This is a, a much smaller bag, 14 and a half litre compostable and biodegradable bag made specifically for this product. So let's have a look how we fit it. So the first thing is let's get a solid container out. And we've got a little uh, trim piece across the top here which comes off. Um, and this will hold the bag in place. So uh, I'll drop this bag into here. And then we can just run it over the edge like that. And then pop this over the top. Okay, so that's that. The absorb pad uh, you drop into the bottom like that. Uh, and that's that will absorb any excess liquid which uh, which gets in inside there. So then to drop it inside the toilet, we're just going to move this in carefully. And there's only just one place for it to go, so just make sure that it is actually in place at the back. So that's the. Uh, solids liner, but compostable liner is fitted. The other thing is the bi drain tablet, which um, the, the separate tiny has got this little cage which drops in the front, which we'll show you in a second. So the tablet itself just sits in the cage like that. Um, the purpose of these, by the way, is um, it stops, it contains an enzyme which helps stop the uh, urea, which is in urine calcifying in the pipes and potentially clogging up pipes long term. Perhaps not so relevant with the model with the urine container, um, but it might help and it also releases a fragrance. So that just drops into the front section separator like so. So that's all the accessories and considerables fitted. Um, so now, now let's have a look at the vent pipe and look at some of the options that we've got there from the selection of products that come with the 
with the kit. Okay, so we've had a quick look at some of the insides. Just want to look at the base for a moment. So we can see here there are three pre-drilled areas where you would fix the uh, tiny to the floor using the screws provided. Um, also, we've got this flexible rubber seal which goes against the floor and will mean that any water which is around isn't, sort of go, isn't going to go under the toilet. So let's have a look at the ventilation side of things now. So the ventilation on the tiny comes out here. Um, so the fan is for driving the air down. Now, um, if it was being installed in a camper van or a tiny home, something like that, you could literally take it straight through the floor. So uh, this pipe would be able to go in and would go straight through the floor and then you can turn it through 90 degrees to vent outside somewhere. Most people though are going to vent to the side perhaps. So you've got the 90 degree fitting and this would go in here like so. And you could take that either sort of to the, to the right or to the left and vent outside. So using the pipe like so. You would fit that in there and you've got your vent pipes coming out to the side. So you've got lots of options here for sort of invisible pipe work um, or going straight through the floor or in a traditional setting sort of coming out, going straight out um, and then terminating the pipe, vent pipe there. The vent pipe itself comes with this uh, cover so this would be on the very end of the pipe. There's an insect screen built into it and a small rain cover, and that just simply goes over the end of the pipe. You'd obviously cut that to length and fit that like that. Um, also with the pipe, is uh, we've got this roof vent cap. So the idea with this is that the uh, vent pipe would go up like that, and that would then be screwed into place. And that means the vent, uh, the air sort of comes up, comes out. It stops rain coming into into the vent pipe. So that's the vent pipe using a 50, standard 50 millimeter pipe, which is nice and simple to fit. So now let's have a look at the uh, urine container inside, and see what they've done with that. So to access the urine container, we open the front up like so. Um, there's a sort of an automatic stay on, on the hinge here so that this will keep its place. You don't need to um, keep your hand there. So with inside the body of the toilet, um, anything which is yellow is handleable. So we've got obviously a grey container with yellow handles and yellow uh, caps that can be removed. And the same with the solid container, we've got um, a yellow handle on that as well. Let's just have a look at the urine container first of all. So the urine container, if we, if we look down into it, you'll notice that there is a baffle there straight away. And that means that if there is any urine inside and this is being sloshed around, it's not just going to come straight out. There's also a uh, rubber uh, grommet here which will fit against this part of the separator, forming a good seal. To actually empty the urine container, having got it out, you would put this lid on top there to stop anything spilling out of there. And then you would undo this one, and again there's a place for it to go here when it's not being used, and then the urine container can, can be emptied. There is also a level sensor in the urine container, so when the container is nearly full, I'm not sure at this point at what point the level sensor comes on, we'll have to look at that, but at some point when it's nearly full, the level sensor will activate and the light on the back of the toilet, or sorry, the separate badge here on the back of the toilet will actually uh, start to flash to let you know that you need to change the urine in the near future. So the container itself is um, quite robust. Uh, it holds just over seven litres, um, which was enough for um, one to two days uh, for a couple of people. And again, it just drops into place. Just make sure that it is sort of securely um, in position. and you're good to go again. So we've got the urine container mostly filled with water at the moment and we're just going to test the urine uh, alert. So in theory, this light will start flashing when it's very nearly full. So let's just give that a go now and see how we get on. Okay. 
And there we go, that light is now on. And that container is, uh, is reasonably full now. It's still got a bit more capacity there. That will let you know that it is, it is time to empty. Right, so you've seen most of the features of the new Tiny now. The final thing is the concealing screen. Um, now, the concealing screen is something that Separate have had in the villa for 20 years, and it's something which is quite unique to them. The Tiny is similar but slightly different. So, with the concealing screen, uh, it's a two part screen. When you, you are actually sat on the toilet, the screen completely opens. However, one of the unique aspects compared to the villa is that the screen, rather than being built onto the bottom separator, is actually um, on a separate part over the solids container. So when you're emptying the urine container, you're not actually looking at the contents of the solids container. It's still completely covered. However, when you need to empty the solids container, this moves out of place. You can place the uh, cover over the solids container and then quite easily take this outside and place this on your compost heap or however you're going to deal with that. And then replacing it, you just drop it straight back inside. And this drops down over it. This part also contains the uh, filter for the fan. So the fan is, is embedded slightly behind the solids container and it will be drawing air over the solids container through this filter and then down through the fan and venting it straight outside so that there are no odours at all um, when using this toilet. So far we've been looking at this one which is the Tiny that's got the built-in urine container but the other model that's been launched is the Tiny with the urine diversion to the outside just like the separate villa. So let's have a little look at, uh, at the detail. So from exterior point of view it looks exactly the same. The differences are really around the back and something on the inside. So I've already fitted the 90 degree connection. You also get a straight connection as well. So you could run the urine straight out through a hole in the wall behind the toilet. You could do as we've gone shown here, 90 degrees to run it straight down. But you can also have the connection running that way and it can go out here. And in fact, this piece of plastic can actually be removed to enable the pipe to come out that way. And exactly the same on this side. The pipe itself is, as with the villa, it's a semi-flexible pipe. And it would go into there and then run to your soak away or external container. So to conclude, um, this is the separate tiny with the built-in urine container, this is the separate tiny with the external um, uh, urine outlet. Both models have got a 14 and a half litre solid capacity. Um, both of them, as we've explained earlier on, are very compact, uh, very narrow, not too deep, and about the right size. So they're going to be comfortable to use if you're used to using a standard toilet, these are going to feel right at home, but they will fit into a nice small space. Some nice innovation on them, particularly the level indicator on this one and, uh, and with both of them the ventilation system is really flexible and the fact that you can have hidden vent pipes now is a, is a major step forward. So we think they're really nice toilets. Um, obviously this one with the urine container is going to be more suitable for people on boats, uh, camper vans, uh, anywhere where it's mobile or where you can't discharge your into the ground. Where you can discharge your into the ground, so for example if you have a tiny house, garden, office, um, caravan, mobile home, something like that, which is generally fixed into position, then this one with the urine outlets to a soak away pit or a cell container is going to be the one to go for. You can find full details on our website, which is www.waterwithtoilets.co.uk, and um, if you have any other questions, get in contact with us via the website. Thank you very much.